Today he's gone out on the assault and the lone move to try and seal the victory in that competition. There are six points available in a couple of kilometres time when they go through the small town of Praz Sor Mai. And there's a chance to see from the air the, the kind of climbs and kind of descents that the riders have been treated to on this mountain stage today, stage 17. That's, oh, that is amazing. That is almost uh, like a, a ski descent that these riders are going down. Well, that's like a giant maggot down there, just twisting and turning as it runs down. The boys are just keeping uh, their eyes to themselves, making sure that life is good. Nobody's falling off, at least, thank heavens, Paul, but in a dry section, because when you see underneath that bridge, it's an awful long way down. It certainly is. I would have said it was more like a piece of discarded spaghetti. <laughs> No, it's a giant maggot, definitely. Right turn at the bottom, everybody coming off the climb, looking good. Hushoff, remember, he's five minutes ahead of the peloton. And uh, Cadell Evans has got back for sure with uh, Charlie Wigelis' help. Uh, so he's ready to now cross the valley for the Col de Rache. Shouldn't be quite so bad, Paul, it's only second category. The last two climbs, though, they'll be a different uh, kettle of fish. Now, Flume. He's not very far from the Grand Saint-Bernard, Bonan. But we're not going that way. We've turned right now, which is the wrong way to go home to the finishing line today. Yeah, they could have gone straight on through there, Phil, over the Col des Aravis.